What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a informational style video or just kind of a heads up style video today, man. We're going to be diving into WWE action figures. I guess not just WWE, but wrestling action figures in general, man, because if you guys were unaware, in just a few short weeks, we will be getting SDCC, San Diego Comic Con, coming soon, man. Everybody knows it's kind of the, I guess I would say the WrestleMania of WWE or just action figure reveals where every single company under the the Sun comes together under one roof and reveals all of their products and all of the stuff that is going to be coming soon for the coming year and the calendar year into the next year, which would be 2024. But we got so much at, at this past WrestleMania, I feel like that was the WrestleMania, so I don't know how the hell they're going to top it this time. And they told me personally they didn't know how they would top WrestleMania reveals and WrestleMania weekend. It should be in for an interesting one, man, but however, San Diego Comic-Con, let's dive into it. Let's talk about it today. We're going to be discussing all of the figures that I expect to see, or just some things to put in your brain to think about and be like, oh yeah, we should see that, or oh yeah, I think we are going to get to see that, yada yada yada. We're going to talk about all of that here today, man, and I also want to make it known in this video that I will be attending San Diego Comic Con. I am going to be there live, I'm going to be reporting there, I'm going to do multiple videos there in person, hopefully get an interview with Mattel, break down all the reveals, and we're still going to do our traditional breakdown of all the images and talk about all the figures in detail, while also all the other content that we're going to make when we go out there to California. So it should be really fun looking forward to it a lot should be an absolute blast as wrestlemania was so just wanted to put that announcement out there so if you guys are going to san diego comic-con you guys live in the area whatever the case is man i would love to chat with you guys talk figures whatever the case is man hope to see you guys there now diving into the figures that i think we're gonna see as you guys know at wrestlemania we saw a lot of figures man we saw a lot of figures we saw a lot of upcoming figures so i think that any figure we saw really in a render state or any figure that maybe wasn't quite done yet maybe is in a prototype level like grayed out scale those figures are probably going to be done or close to done we're going to have probably some really good prototypes some very close to finished product prototypes of a lot of those figures now starting out first san diego comic-con would be nothing without san diego comic-con exclusives now i said this a month ago i do know what the wwe mattel san diego comic-con exclusive is and i'm not going to get into that in this video i'm not going to reveal that in this video it, it should be talked about very soon and as soon as it breaks we will discuss all of it here on the channel of course i'll make a whole damn video about the exclusive when it is time. It's a very unique item. I like it personally, and it's very interesting. But not only is WWE going to have a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, man, AEW is going to have a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. They're going to have an exclusive. I don't think AEW is going to be there or going to be there with a with a whole setup like Mattel and WWE, but I do think they are going to have a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. And I want to say that, you know, much like the Shop AEW exclusives, much like the store exclusives, I guarantee it's probably going to be a repaint of an existing figure. Now, whatever that figure is, who the hell knows, right? I have no idea what figure that could be. I'm just going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say it's going to be like a CM Punk, a Darby Allen, or a Kenny Omega repaint. I'm just guessing. Again, I have zero insider knowledge on that. I have no idea who it is. I don't know what it is. I do think we have a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I just don't have any more info for you. One thing that I think would be really badass is a Danhausen. I'd love to see a Danhausen figure for San Diego Comic-Con exclusive we already know we're getting like four in other ways with other exclusives so one more wouldn't hurt i think a supreme edition would be off the chain bro i would literally lose my damn mind if we got a san diego comic-con exclusive kenny omega supreme or cm punk supreme or something like that would shatter the earth i think but who knows we will have to wait and see on that of course but i think we are going to get obviously we're obviously getting san diego comic-con exclusives that's the first thing that i expect to see at sdcc now getting into elites man as you guys know we've reported on it we have some of the stuff already revealed to us we already know certain figures are coming right we already have elite 103 in hand but i expect to see elite series 104 elite series 105 elite series 106 and probably elite series 107 and possibly even 108 109 because you guys know we're going to get renders we're going to get a mattel panel that's probably going to be an hour long i expect to be there in the front row to see that thing i don't know about front row but you know what i mean i expect to be there in person for that full thing talking about it and all those different things should be there but i expect to see a lot of renders I expect to see a lot of future elites in the main elite line. But not only that, you know, we already know what's in Elite Series 104. Elite 105 with Johnny Gargano and Braun Strowman and 
that entire wave. Carmelo Hayes, that whole wave should be there. Elite Series 106, maybe we'll see some prototypes of those guys. We talked about that wave just the other day in our video. Maybe we'll see a first time on the line LA Knight. I mean, there's lots of things there that could take fruition. Outside of San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, I think we're also going to see some ringside exclusives, man. I think one or two exclusives should be revealed to us. I have zero idea where they're going with that. I know I've made pitches in the past for RBD figures. You guys know that RBD is getting newer figures and coming out. I hope to God we get at least one or two RBD elites shown off at San Diego Comic-Con. But, I, I, you know, ringside exclusives, I have no idea where they could go. I'm trying to think of who would they put into a ringside exclusive. You know, they're kind of all over the place. Sometimes you get some, like, random figure, and then sometimes they come out with, like, an NXT talent. You know, I, I have no idea. So that'll be very interesting. But I do expect to see some ringside exclusives, uh, probably one or two elites, maybe an Ultimate Edition. I expect to see plenty of Ultimate Editions, of course. But speaking of exclusive Ultimate Editions and Elites, what about the Monday Night War set? We know that the Ruthless Aggression sets are ending, and we know that they are wrapping up, and we know a lot about a, a bunch of Monday Night Wars, WCW versus Monday Night Raw, Elite, and Ultimate Action figures coming soon, right? We, we saw Hulk Hogan, we saw Scott Hall, we saw Undertaker, we saw Stone Cold Steve Austin. We're probably going to see full-fledged prototypes of those guys out on display, I'm sure, fully painted up with all their accessories, I bet. You know, it's unfortunate. Even though the crowdfunder ended, I still am excited to see, you know, some of those WCW figures and who ends up coming to fruition and all of those things. And another thing to mention is maybe we will get to see a, a crowdfunding project. Maybe they're going to give us a teaser on what the possible next crowdfunding project is. I don't know about that. I'm not going to hold my breath on that. I don't even expect to see an announcement of that, but I do. Uh, maybe they'll tease us. You know, they like to send little teasers and Easter eggs out there, so maybe they'll give us one of those, or maybe I can get some inside knowledge on that one. But Monday Night Wars figures, we know that the Ultimate Ring will probably be on display with the Eric Bischoff figure. We know that, you know, more figures are coming down the line. I think they did say and confirmed that Bret Hart and Roddy Piper WCW Monday Night War Ultimate Editions are coming soon. And I think they said that a Eddie Guerrero and somebody else was coming after that. So maybe we'll see a prototype of that figure or maybe an updated render of that figure. Or maybe that wasn't even a render. I think Steve just talked about it on a live stream. So maybe we'll get to see exactly what look that Eddie Guerrero is going to be. And outside of the, the Ultimate Edition WCW ring, we should find finally see some more images of the upcoming Kurt Angle. You know, the last time we saw it, it looked uh, a kind of a hot mess. It was like a grayed out prototype. It had the cloth singlet. Maybe we'll get better images of that. Maybe we'll get some updates there. I can't wait to see what that figure looks like. I remember in my buyer pass on that figure, I legitimately said, this is a wait and see for me. Like, I don't know if I can fully back this figure if uh, if it doesn't, you know, end up meeting the requirements. You guys know that an 01 style Kurt Angle was on my Ultimate Edition wish list, and we finally got it. And I was very excited to see it, and then I was kind of disappointed in the final thing. But I'm waiting to see more images, waiting to see what the, you know, the product looks like as it gets closer to coming to fruition. So that'll be a whole another deal and thing that we have to decide on. But Bianca Belair and Bobby Lashley Ultimates are also a thing. And also, it was confirmed that the Ultimate Edition line for Mattel is moving forward, is going to have three different figures in it. So no longer we doing two we're getting three and so maybe we'll get to see that i expect to possibly see another cody rhodes ultimate edition as well that could be a whole nother thing there i think we are going to get a mainline cody i expect to probably get three or four cody shown off whether they're basic elite ultimate i expect no doubt about it to see some sort of cody rhodes action figures at san diego comic-con another thing that i possibly think you guys remember the target exclusive three pack with 30th anniversary set with razor ramon and undertaker and one two three kid i could see us getting another pack similar to that and and there may be a little bit, I may have a little bit of knowledge on that one right there. I'm very interested to know where that pack is going. Saw a pack around the time I got to see the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I saw a pack that was very interesting. So I'm, 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 I'm still puzzled as what that pack means. So hopefully we'll get some confirmation on that and what exactly that entails and what their ideas were behind that. Newer Greatest Hits figures coming soon. You guys know that Series 3 is already talked about. We covered that here on the channel. But I expect to probably see maybe even Greatest Hits Series 4. What figures they plug into that wave. Also some figures we should see are the pay-per-view build-a-figures. I think we'll absolutely see these. I don't know what cases they're going to do. Maybe they'll do pay-per-view sets and then show the build-a-figure in there. Maybe we'll get some new build-a-figures. As you guys know that the non-suited characters are apparently going to be the new trend moving forward. Lots of build-a-figures and I hope to see some more build-a-figures. I'm excited to see who they put in those waves and what looks they get and all those different things, man. They showed off so much. They showed off so many damn figures at WrestleMania, man. I agree with Steve. I have no 
idea how the hell they're going to top it because they showed off so damn much that it's quite possibly like, I don't know how, how the hell they're going to do it, but I have faith in them that they're going to definitely make it worth our while. But outside of the pay-per-view elites and the Build-A-Figures, man, I think we're going to see the next set of defining moments, whether it's just, you know, just renders. Maybe they'll put that into, maybe they'll put that into their panel, you know, as something they cover. They'll put up, you know, defining moments and they'll show off not only the ones that we got this year, but they'll talk about maybe the next four and maybe they'll show one from the next set, maybe in Series 3 coming in 2024. I'm very excited to know what comes in that. Or, or they may only be doing one set a year, so we may have to wait until 2024 for the Series number 2, but we will have to see about that. But I'm excited to see and intrigued to know who goes in that set, what they've come up with. You know, hopefully that ticks some boxes for me personally. And uh, we get some good stuff going on there. But I think that's my full expectations out of San Diego Comic-Con. Again, this my expectations may not be met. You know, maybe we don't get all of these things. Or maybe we don't see all of these things. But regardless, I'm going to enjoy the hell out of myself out in San Diego Comic-Con. Reporting on all of it. Getting all the knowledge. And, of course, reporting it back to you guys here on the MDT YouTube channel, of course. But all of this stuff that I just talked about was stuff we've already seen pretty much. It's just they're going to be further in the process. So I expect to see pretty much what we saw at WrestleMania and the Superstore and that weekend in full like what we got to see and what was announced just further along in the process completed mostly and then adding some more stuff so this stuff should move forward down the pipeline like anything we saw at wrestlemania that we already have replace those things with new stuff and then move the stuff we saw already down the pipeline into further completion if that makes sense so elite 103 the defining moments pack those battle packs and basics that are already they've already hit in ringside the greatest hit series all those things have already hit so you can transition them out and then move into newer stuff you can replace those figures with new stuff so that's what i look forward to man it should be an absolute blast out there again if you guys are going definitely hit me up cannot wait to see you guys out there but i think that pretty much wraps up our what to expect from San Diego Comic Con video. Cannot wait for it again. But before we get out of here, man, a huge shout out to our patron backers over on Patreon of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate they go appreciate those guys so very much. They are the absolute best. If you guys are interested in that, check out the links in the description below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'm getting out of here, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.